Okay, students. So let us uh, discuss this particular problem which we posted today in the morning. The graph of y equal to mod x minus 20 plus mod x plus 18 and y equal to x plus c intersect at exactly one point. Find the value of c, which will satisfy this condition. All right. So before we move forward, let be very clear that the question might have different solutions. We are presenting just one good solution. We want you to teach this method. That's why we pick this explanation. Your answers completely right if they match but we want to teach you how quickly you can solve these kind of questions so it might vary with your solution but your solution might not be wrong so don't worry too much okay let's see the question and how we have tried to solve it so there is a huge learning in terms of how you solve the graphs of modulus functions this is the reason why we have picked up this question from MIT Harvard challenge. So one of the most prestigious uh, competition from Ivy Leagues in US where people apply and can uh, compete in the competition which is specifically for maths. All right. So this was the question asked in the 2018 exam. And let's see how we are going to solve the modulus exam questions. So here the trick lies where you have to learn or you could actually work well is that if something of this sort is given that y is equal to mod of x minus a plus y oh sorry x minus b then we know the graph of this function will be something like this very very simply this bucket shape is the shape of this modulus graph where if you notice this bucket shape has three lines three portions you can say right this way it will go right so what is the value here so whatever the value of this line so if somebody asks you what is the value of y on this parallel line so this is a horizontal line by the way so the value of y, this is y is equal to modulus a minus b this is the value first of all right on the right hand side if you notice this would be 2x minus a plus b right clear and on the left hand side the same line will become minus 2x plus a plus b so this is how the graph is you can just solve it you will get it uh, the answer on your own very easily so if we try and solve this particular question here uh, here the role of a is being played by minus 18 you can write the same thing as x minus of minus 18 right modulus then you have x minus 20 here so the role of b is being played by let's say 20 okay so ag again coming to the graph so this particular point this one right uh, and let's say we draw something like this which we do not know let's say this is minus 18 right this graph this value is let's say 20 so this point will be nothing but 20 comma difference of these two is 38 this point will be minus 18 comma 38 this is the graph right now what you need you need to draw a line y equal to x plus c which intersects this particular graph at only one point and why this question is easy because these are all straight lines now what this line would be it will be 2x and we what we said minus 20 plus 18 that is 2x minus 2 this would be that line reverse the way it will be minus 2x plus 2 this will be this line so now let us talk about the other line that is we have to consider a y equal to x plus c so now notice the slope of the other line so the slope of this line m is equal to 1 right whereas the slope of this line where is given to be 2 and the slope of this line is given to be minus 2 right so if you want the line to intersect only at one point that is this particular line to intersect at only one point see this is already slanted with slope 1 so what happens when the slope is 1 and the slope is 2 so if I give you two lines like this let's say like this and let's say this is the horizontal surface like clear so we are saying that this is horizon 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 means uh, let's say x axis so which one could be m equal to 1 and m equal to 2 here right can you can you just okay great so i guess most of you have figured it out this would be slope 1 and this will be slope 2 so the higher the gradient more will be towards y axis okay less will be the slant less the slope less the slant got it so if you notice we have y equal to m 
so if the line is going something like this it is going to intersect at two points if the line is touching here it will definitely intersect so if this line has slope m equal to 1 and if it intersects this line this is definitely going to intersect the line with your slope uh, y uh, uh, m equal to 2 this is definitely going to intersect this line because of this particular relation that you are seeing here here the slant is less here the slant is more so they will definitely intersect you cannot have the case of parallel lines because that is also not possible right so parallel lines is not possible because you have different slopes so if you notice there is only one case which will make this work when the line just goes like this just like this where it is going to just rip off basically something like this just imagine a line like this where it will just touch 20 comma 38 right and in this way since it is below the entire curve it will never intersect at more than one point because if this line okay let me take the line and if i try and draw the line above let's say here right it will always intersect at more than two points always always because we can extend the line and this will always intersect at more than one two and three so a good question would be then that we have find exactly for one so okay let me just complete this first so for one you have got your answer so for uh, one exactly one solution exactly one point you have got your answer that y equal to uh, y equal to x plus c should pass through the point 20 comma 38 which gives the value of c as 18 that's why c equal to 18 is basically the right answer note the slope or the slant of the line cannot be in the other direction so if you were guessing sir why you haven't taken something like this this or this these are slants with negative slopes whereas it is given that the line is y equal to x plus c whose slope is y equal uh, m equal to 1 so this is one of the possible solutions which we thought was uh, could be done graphically without solving too much so if you know how good graphs are or how you are good at graphs possibly you could solve questions within a time span of 30 odd seconds and mind it this question came in Howard MIT competition and Howard MIT maths competition right so this is how we have solved this question which is famous worldwide got it I hope you understand that